Hello and welcome to another Ubuntu Cloud screencast. During this screencast, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Hadoop cluster. So prior to starting the, this recording, I only did uh, Ensemble Bootstrap. Bootstrap starts a Bootstrap node, which is a uh, Ensemble Utility node on the Amazon EC2 cloud. So let's check the uh, status of that. So I'm using um, the Amazon EC2 cloud as an ensemble deployment target in this video. As we can see, Machine Zero, which is always used for bootstrapping, is, um, is already um, deployed. So let's see how easy it is to deploy a Hadoop uh, cluster. So we say ensemble deploy minus minus repository current directory Hadoop master. What this does is that it will connect to the environment, it will spin up a generic EC2 instance, and according to instructions in the uh, Ensemble formula, it will install the software needed to create a Hadoop master node. Um, the same really happens for a Hadoop slave node. So um, again, Ensemble starts a plain vanilla Ubuntu image and configures it as a Hadoop slave node. And the uh, only remaining step is uh, Hadoop add, oh, sorry, Ensemble add relation between the Hadoop master and the Hadoop, um, Hadoop slave nodes. And what this does is that it, it connects the two machines together um, so they start exchanging information, configuration information, on how to form um, the Hadoop cluster. So um, right now, the machines are being spun up on EC2, and all the software is being installed on them, and all of the configuration information is being exchanged through the relation uh, that we just added. Um, this, it will take EC2 a couple of minutes to, uh, to catch up on us, so uh, I'll come back to you within a, a couple of minutes. So after a couple of minutes, EC2 has caught up. Um, let's quickly check on the uh, Ensemble status. So as you can see, we now have three machines, 0, 1, and 2. One of them is deployed as Hadoop Master. Um, it has a, um, a relation with a Hadoop slave. <coughs> and we also have um, the second node, Hadoop slave, so the, um, the Hadoop cluster is now fully up. Let's quickly SSH into the Hadoop-master node. We are now on the Hadoop master node. Let's switch to uh, user HDFS. Um, we're going to try to test if the Hadoop cluster is working correctly. For that, we're going to be downloading a small file. Let's uncompress that. Let's copy um, the data from the local file system over to the Hadoop distributed file system. So we say Hadoop DFS copy from local this local directory into the um, into another directory on the Hadoop file system. And then let's start the um, hello world type example of Hadoop to run a word count MapReduce job on our Hadoop cluster. As you can see, this is the job number. It has been started, and uh, Hadoop jobs are really a series of MapReduce uh, steps. So you're going to see these numbers um, starting to count up. So 
the job seems to be running uh, perfectly fine. Um, as you just saw, it only takes a couple of commands uh, using Ensemble to deploy a Hadoop um, cluster. And what's interesting is that most of the time we have spent, um, we were actually using Hadoop commands to use the cluster rather than reading instructions and worrying about installing Hadoop cluster and, and managing it. And that is because Ensemble does this uh, for us. So the mapping process is now done, and the reduce step is also done, and the job has uh, successfully completed. Um, this is how easy it is to set up a Hadoop cluster using Ensemble. If you enjoyed this, um, this screencast, please do visit ensemble.ubuntu.com for more information, or join us on IRC on the Ubuntu-Ensemble channel. Thank you and see you in another screencast.